This is problem number six from section 2.4. And this problem it says, find the limit of f of x as x approaches c from the right, and the limit of f of x as x approaches c from the left for the given function and value of c. So they give you a, a value of c, which is negative 12. So they're asking us to find the limit as x approaches negative 12 from the right of this function. So I'm going to go ahead and write that out. That would be uh, x plus 14, absolute value, x plus 12, over x plus 12. And we're also going to have the limit as x approaches negative 12 from the left of x plus 14. Absolute value x plus 12 over x plus 12. And the key with this problem is we have to look at what happens to this absolute value as we plug in numbers that are to the left and right of 12, of negative 12. So let's start by drawing a number line at the top. Let's mark negative 12, and then let's pick some numbers to the left, negative 13, and to the right, negative 11. If I plug in negative 13 into, remember we're trying to find the limit, oh, this one right here, the limit as x approaches negative 12 from the left, so that's coming in this direction from the left. If I plug in negative 13 into this equation, negative 13 plus 12 will give you negative 1. Absolute value of negative 1 is 1. But on the bottom, you get negative 13 plus 12, which is negative. So what I'm, sh what I'm saying here is if I plug in uh, f of negative 13, it's essentially going to give you absolute value negative 13 plus 12 over negative 13 plus 12, which is on top, that'll just be 1 over negative 1. So this will be negative. That's an important thing that we need to notice, that this will be negative. So I'm just going to kind of point that out. For this limit, this fraction will be negative. Now what if I plug in f of negative 11, because we're going from uh, as x approaches negative 12 from the right? Well, that's going to give you negative 11 plus 12, absolute value, over negative 11 plus 12. Well, that'll end up being 1 over 1. So that's a positive number. So anything to the right here is going to be positive. So we can mark that. This will give you uh, positive for this function. This is going to give you negative for this function. Now let's plug, or let's write that here that this will be a positive. So when we do the limit as x approaches negative 12, from the right, we want to use the positive version of the absolute value bars. So we're going to say that this is the limit as x approaches negative 12 from the right of x plus 14. And the positive version of that is just x plus 12 over x plus 12. And for this version, we want to do the limit as x approaches negative 12 from the left, but we want the negative version of that. So what's the negative version look like? Well, that would be negative whatever's inside here, which was x plus 12, all over x plus 12. And we do this anytime we solve absolute value equations. We essentially write two equations, one with a positive, one with a negative. That's the same thing we're doing here. But we can see the reason we have to do that is because of these limiting values here. From there, we can cancel x plus 12 over x plus 12. That cancels out completely. So we're left with limit as x approaches negative 12 from the right of x plus 14, which is going to equal negative 12 plus 14, which is 2. So the limit as x approaches negative 12 from the right is 2. Over here, these cancel, leaving you with 1. So we end up with limit 
as x approaches negative 12 from the left of x plus 14 times negative 1, because this becomes negative 1. If I distribute that, that's limit as x approaches negative 12 from the left of negative x minus 14. Just distributing there. And that's going to equal negative, negative 12 minus 14, which is 12 minus 14, which is negative 2. So our limit as x approaches negative 12 from the left is negative 2. And we came up with this by simply looking at what were the numbers to the left of negative 12, right? Because we're approaching it from the, from the left side, from the negative, uh, negative side. And what were the values that we got when we approached from the right side? And then we uh, defined our absolute value, or we broke our absolute value down into two different pieces based on those based on those small calculations.